Hi friends, Frankie here. Today we're going to see the infamous Cat Station Master. I've heard of this cat before, but only recently found out the station is in Wakayama, which isn't too far from Osaka. I took the JR from Osaka to Wakayama Station, then got on the Wakayama Electric Railway's Kishigawa Line, headed for Kishi Station. Initially, I was so excited because I got lucky by getting the Tamadensha, which is full of tiny cat details. It's so cute. This train line has a few different train designs, including the Omocha Densha, Ichigo Densha, and the Tama Museum Densha. So for a bit of backstory, Tama was a stray cat. In 2006, the train line was on the verge of bankruptcy and the workers were laid off. After some rallying from the locals, the train line was revived and the owner of the line adopted Tama and made her the station master. Kojima, the owner, even made her a little station master hat. The story went wild in the press and online. Tama's presence attracted riders to the Kishigawa line from all over the world and she helped contribute a whopping $10 million to the local economy. Tama saved the entire train line. In 2010, Eiji Mitoka, a designer who's worked on some Shinkansens, railways, and other public spaces, was hired to design the Tamadensha. He also designed the other trains on the Wakayama Electric Railway, which also helped bring tourists to Wakayama because those trains are freaking cute. I wish I could have ridden them all. The first Tama passed away in 2015 when she was 16 years old, and over 3,000 people attended her funeral. In her place, other cats were trained as station masters. Currently, you can find one of two cats at Kishi Station at any given time, before 4 p.m. Nitama, the second Tama, and Yontama, the fourth Tama. Their schedules are posted on the railway's website. I was there on a Wednesday, which is Yontama's work day at Kishi Station. The station is very small, but there's a tiny museum and a cafe, and also the quote-unquote offices of the cat station masters. I'm going to be completely honest, I was not expecting Yontama to be inside of a glass case. Based on the photos that are online, I thought the cats would be roaming free around the station, or at least in a confined but open space, so it did make me sad to see how tiny that little office is. When Yontama and Nitama are working, they stay at the station from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. I went into the cafe, which has a lot of Tama merch. Just like the train, the cafe is decked out with Tama decor. I got a matcha latte and relaxed a bit because the next train was in 30 minutes. After my drink, I asked the cafe staff, since she was the only person around, if it was possible to play with Yontama or if I could give her treats. Basically anything that would require her to be let out. But she said they can't open the door. It was getting close to noon, so I asked what time Yontama would have her lunch break, but she said that Yontama eats in another location away from the customers.
after Idakiso Station, I went back to Kishi one last time because initially I had missed the Tama Shrine. After Tama passed away, they built a tiny shrine for her on the station platform. The sign says Tama Dai Myojin, which means Tama the Great God. On the way home, I was feeling a bit sad, to be honest. The trains are very cute though, so that was the silver lining, I guess. They're probably the cutest trains I've ever been on. I'm thinking of writing to the train line to suggest that Nitama and Yontama stay in the cafe instead of the display case. I don't know if it'll work, but I think it's worth a try. I know that cats like to nap a lot during the day, but it's sad to think that the cats are stuck in those cases for 30 hours a week. What are your thoughts on this situation? I would really like to know. Thank you for watching. Drop a cat emoji if you would like, and I will see you next time. Bye!